Two years ago, I signed a law, a once in a generation investment on our nation's infrastructure and uh, to fix our roads, railroads, bridges, ports, airports, remove every single lead pipe in the country, and extend high speed internet, advanced clean energy, and modernize the electric grid, energy grid. Already, we've announced over 40,000 projects in 4,500 communities all across our country. And when folks see these big projects in their hometown, when they see the cranes up in the air and the shovels in the ground, I really think, uh, coming from an area that got shut down up in Scranton, Pennsylvania, and then Steel Mill in Claymont, Delaware, I think they, it brings them hope. It brings them hope and pride. It brings pride back to communities that are left behind <coughs> for much too long. So what does all this mean? It means that when a hurricane <coughs> hits, power is back on within hours instead of days or weeks. It means when a storm water surge, people don't lose access to clean water. It means when any disaster strikes, families can still text, call, and email to get help for the loved ones if they see if they're okay. And look, it also means that when cyber actors try to hack pipelines, ports, grids, networks, they're detected and removed before they disrupt essential services. A lot of work. And that's why last year I asked this council to ensure that resilience is built into all of our infrastructure projects, including critical sections like energy, communications, transportation, and healthcare.